most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. Welcome back in. There might have been some breaks of sunshine earlier this morning, but a lot of overcast sky now and parts of Cumberland County, but across the entire region. That was Enola. This is York, and we will see some snow showers beginning to fall by this evening. I don't expect a lot yet because the moisture just isn't there. We have a lot of dry air in place currently, but if you look at radar, we are starting to see returns showing up just to our south. So a few flakes are possible at times during the afternoon, but the bulk of this waits until later tonight. Current conditions, it's only 23 in Lewistown, Mifflin Town at 25. Our mountain camera in Marysville, 22 degrees, 25 in Lidditz. But in general today, and actually there are a couple of flurries passing by in Hanover. In general today, we stay below freezing. So. The stage is set for developing snow later on tonight. So in terms of where the stalled front is, we are seeing a lot of snow over the Tennessee Valley into parts of northern North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia. Cold air setting up shop for now, and that's why not only do we have the chance here this the start this week, but also by the end of this week, a second round of snow looking more and more likely. So this is through 10 o'clock and notice precision cast not showing a lot of snow yet. It takes time to see those snow showers develop locally, but really the window from about 4 to 8 a.m. is looking more and more ripe to see those steadier snow showers. At times it may be briefly heavy, but in general, the snow rates never pick up enough to see any big time accumulation. So the latest on precision cast, it's not the most impressive snow you're ever going to see, but one to three inches of snow falling during the morning commute tomorrow could be problematic and will likely cause some delays and closures. So again, one to three inches region wide. If there's anywhere that could get maybe closer to four inches would be south of the state line getting closer to Baltimore and DC. But when we look at our extended forecast, if you only get about an inch or so of snow today and you're looking for more Friday, also the opportunity to see some snow. Now this big trough of low pressure takes over the Great Lakes through the northeast. This is another example where we never quite see the snow pick up in intensity. It will be light but steady on Friday, and it's just enough to create that possibility again of seeing a few inches of snow. Beyond that, we're still relatively cold into next weekend. So as these storms go by, we will see that chance of some fluffy snow in our forecast. James, the warmest high we get is 32 on Thursday and Friday. Man. So this is going to be more what we expect for January in this is the coldest time of the year. So none of this is unprecedented. It's just we have not had normal winters the last three years. And, and it also just feels like this is just like a sustained stretch of it cold weather. It is a sustained weather. stretch, and it's not Farm Show Week. Everyone always associates Farm Show Week as winter. We had rain events last week. It yeah. wasn't cold enough. Now right. it is cold enough to see mostly snow. All right, Dan, thank you very sure. much. We'll be right back. When breaking news.